In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the most performance out of your Amazon Fire tablet. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to building the ultimate smart home. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually download an app. So all we need to do is go into the app store and this is going to be the Amazon app store right here. And all we need to do is search for cleaner. So type in cleaner and then tap the search. All right, now there are a bunch of different ones to choose from so you can try different ones. If you find one that you really like um, better than the one I'm gonna show you here, just leave a comment so other people can find it and use it as well. So the one I like here is the Clean Master Optimizer Free, and it's the one with the colorful paintbrush right here. So I'm just gonna tap on the download, and once it's downloaded, just tap on open. All right, so here's gonna kinda of tell you your memory speed and your disk space that is used. Um, so you can just go into each one of the categories at the bottom and change settings. So if I go to memory boost, and this is a new tablet, I haven't really done too much to it, but if you did have a lot of stuff in your memory that could be wiped out, you can just tap on boost at the bottom and it will clean up some stuff for you. Uh, like I said, this is brand new tablet, so a lot of this stuff is gonna be very clean to start with. Um, you can also go to junk cleanup, and this is kind of the same thing. Um, if it were to find any junk, it would show you here. And then at the bottom, you would just hit clean. I don't have any junk because uh, it is new. Um, history cleanup, you can go into here and you can tap off the browser history and tap on clean, tap on done. All right, now there also is a game boost. So if there was a game that you were having trouble with, you could add it to the game boost. So all you do is tap on game boost. So we're gonna tap on done. And then all you do is tap on add at the bottom. And then you would just find an app that you wanted to optimize. So let's tap on this one here and add apps. You could do multiple ones as well. All right, and then create shortcut to home screen. So you would just tap on create. And then at the bottom, it says made shortcut. And you also have the app manager at the bottom. So if we tap on that, it's going to show you all of your installed apps. And then right from here, um, to get the most performance out of your device, you'd want to delete any app that you're not using. Now, some apps are not deletable. If they are installed by default by Amazon, they are not going to be deletable but I can go ahead and delete, say, Disney Plus. You know, anything you don't think you're going to be using, just go ahead and tap it off. And then at the bottom, tap on uninstall. And then it's going to ask you one by one, are you sure? Just tap OK. All right, so you can see that all of those were uninstalled and that will add performance to your device. All right, so all the next stuff that we're going to be doing is in the settings of the Fire tablet. So just tap on settings, and we're just gonna go from top to bottom. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your battery. Obviously, it doesn't matter the performance of your device if you don't have any battery left. So I would recommend using the low power mode right here and automatic smart suspend. Turn those both on and that will extend your battery life. Let's go back out of that, and let's go down to display. Now in display, they have adaptive brightness. Go ahead and turn that on, and that will save on battery life. Now another thing you can do, um, I know a lot of people want to uninstall everything that comes on the Fire tablet that they're not going to be using. Well, you can't really uninstall it. You can disable that stuff but you can't fully uninstall the apps that come with the Fire Tablet. But what you can do is add storage. So if you need storage for say movies or TV shows, um, you can open up on the right hand side of your tablet. Um, there is a little flap that pulls out and rotates and there you can install an SD card. So if we go into storage and 
right at the bottom it says expand your device storage and it says browse recommendations for SD cards. So you can just tap on that and it's going to tell you the ones that Amazon recommends. And you can see just for under $25, you can add 128 gigabytes of storage. That is a lot of storage for a very inexpensive price. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and slide in the one that I have. Um, this one is just a cheap one that I got and it's 32 gigabytes. All right, so when you slide in the SD card, it's going to pop open with this menu here. And you have two different options. You can use the card for tablet storage, or you can use it as portable storage. Now, if you want to get the most performance out of your tablet, you do not want to use tablet storage. It's going to be slower than the memory that is in your device. What you want to do is choose portable storage. And if it's not formatted, it's going to ask you to format it. And I just need to tap done at the bottom. And now what you can see is in our memory, you have your internal storage at the top, and then you have the SD card underneath that. And what you can do is anything that you basically download can go to your SD card and all of the things that are actually running will still be on your internal storage. So we can go back out of this and let's go into security and privacy. So what you want to do in here is you want to go down where it says device usage data and turn this to be off. Go on the back button and collect app usage data right here. We also want to turn that off as well. All right, let's go back out of this. Now the last things that we can do is under device options, tap on that and you want to go to about fire tablet. And then what you want to do is you want to tap on your serial number seven times. Um, this will make you a developer and open up some new options for you. I am already a developer, um, but as you tap, what it's going to do is going to say at the bottom, you know, tap three times to be a developer, two, one, and then it will say, now you are a developer. Once you are a developer, just hit the back button and then you'll have this new option right here, which is developer options. Now, once in developer options, this may be turned off at the top. Just tap that to be on and then tap OK. And what we want to do in here is we want to adjust a couple settings. So we're going to go down. So under drawing, what you want to do is change your animation scales. This window animation scale, just tap on that one and turn it to be off. Same thing with transitions, off, and the last one here, off. And what that's gonna do, is gonna make your tablet feel faster. It's not actually going to make it faster, but it will make it feel a lot faster. Now, the next thing we need to do is go down into the app section. Um, you can use this first option here, which is don't keep activities. And what that will do is every time you leave an app, it'll completely basically turn it off. So that will kill anything that is running except for the one that you are running. Now that can have some adverse effects. Um, so I wouldn't recommend doing that one, but the next one down, you can experiment with this one, background process limit. It's going to be set on standard limit. What I would recommend is trying at most for processes. And what that will do is it will limit the background ground processes to four. Basically, if you have an app open, it will prioritize that and it won't have more than four things open at once. So that can really improve performance because you only have four things running. So that is all of the settings that we can update here. And you can see how much faster our tablet is as I tap on things. Tap, bam, it just loads really fast. Everything is super fast. Now, another thing you can do as well, tap on the square at the bottom and you'll just want to end every single thing that you have open. You only want to have the stuff open that you're actually using. So those are basically all of these steps to get the maximum performance out of your Fire tablet. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.